Hello, welcome to Badan Computer Training Channel. Thank you for joining us to learn something very unique in this tutorial. We absolutely appreciate the fact that you have been with us all this long. For if you have not subscribed to this channel, what are you waiting for? Please subscribe, like, and share this video. And today's tutorial promises to be very interesting because we are going to deal with something that actually can be of help to many of us. So now let's get started. In today's tutorial, our attention will be focusing on my book as it's called is a backup device which can be very helpful in backing up our content so in today's tutorial we are going to open and see what is inside and how we can replace the hard drive inside as well as why we need to have one so now let's take get started to open it you will have to remove the first pack remove this you push it out you can remove it good second one is for you to come here and remove it we have it can see it here this place contain body power cable and data cable that means what can power this device unlike the smaller ones this one is to be powered by the electricity so we have both the power as well as the data cable all right drop it down now today we are going to learn how we can actually open this device so to bring it out and you can bring it out this ied is we are removing this as well as this so i will not need this again so permit me to just let this go okay you can see a very beautiful device this is external storage device which can allow you to store so much in this particular one we have three terabyte three terabyte you know that is very large so we are going to learn how we can open this device well some of you watching currently might be struggling on how to replace the hard drive inside the hard drive we have here is often the same one we have in our computers, especially the desktop computer. So now let's see how we can open it and how we can replace. Unless you have this full knowledge, you may end up looking for a way to open and may make mistake trying to press in maybe here to open. That will not work. And you don't have screw, which you can actually use to open. So what do you need to do? The steps is very simple. Well, there are many things you may use. If you have a flat screwdriver, you could use. There's nothing wrong with that. We are going to show you. Some people use something like uh, a little knife and some uses any other flat. If you have any ATM card that is no longer useful, you can as well use. In this tutorial, I have something, just a flat surface. I've cut it into four. And I'm going to use that to open it. How? All right, let's see how this can be done. You see, this surface, this side of the surface, and this side of the surface are not exactly the same. Remember, here we have a label. In this side, we do not have a label. And in this side, where we have the label is where we are going to open through these places. We are going to open and push it down in such a way that it will come out on its own the steps are very simple so let's see how we can do it. place it this way after placing either the screwdriver or whatever you are going to use you could exert a little pressure on it and push it good see what i've done good good so you can pick another one and do the same at the other end. Turn and do the same this way. Go press it on a little. When you hear the sound, it shows that it's about to open. All right, let now, let now place the last one. All right, when you have this, you have already done the work. What next you need to do is from here, press it down. Press it down, use the two sides of your hand. So you press it down good so with that you have opened the device 
This is how it looks inside. That is how it looks. Well, if you are to remove the hard drive and replace it with another, there are things you need to do. First and foremost, you need to unscrew all these places. As you can see, there are four. You have to unscrew that first. There are actually five screws you have to remove. So let's see what we can do. All right, I'm going to use this because it does not use the regular screwdriver. I will check for the right one to use. I think this will do the job. Let's see what we can do. So you will just go to the right place and unscrew. Let's do that. When you are done, gently pull it out. This is what you will have. Now, this is the extra board that actually allowed you to be able to use as an external. So we'll have to remove this. So get back to your screwdriver this time. Start screwdriver. There's a screw here. Just have it removed. As soon as this is removed, this is what you will have. You will need to hold it this way and pull it out. Let's see. Good. So this is what you have. And you could replace it with another one. By supporting, you can continue using the external. Subscribe, like, and share this video and help others too to learn what you have enjoyed. Or you can visit us at our website at MaidanComputerTrainingChannel.com so that you can benefit much more from our numerous tutorials. Thanks so much. Hope to see you in our next tutorial.